So we're at Ronsoy Airport for the arrival of the Queen's Baton. Of course, it's been travelling throughout the Commonwealth, uh, just come from the Channel Islands. Quite a lot going on down there for the last few days that it toured through that region. And uh, here are the pictures as it comes in on the Fly B flight. It came in via Manchester slightly late. Uh, obviously, a few bemused passengers uh, getting caught on camera as the media turned up and forced to witness the arrival. And uh, receiving it, of course, we've got uh, Judith Holt from the Ireland and Commonwealth Games Association and the Chief Minister. Alan Bell was there to be the first one to uh, greet the arrival and have uh, the big photo opportunity on the uh, tarmac there of the plane. So uh, it made its way through the airport and we caught up with uh, Lawrence Skelly, who's uh, of course in charge of the airport these days. This is what he had to say. You know, it was wonderful to see it here arrive on the Isle of Man. Uh, we're we're honoured, delighted and I uh, hope this will be a, a great event for the Isle of Man. And more photo opportunities as uh, the baton came through uh, the uh, baggage check and into the main part of the arrivals hall. And there are some more of the athletes having their photos taken. Had a quick chance, a quick word with uh, Julie Holt about the excitement about having it here and of course the television exposure it's all going to be getting tonight on BBC One. It's fantastic. It uh, really means Glasgow's coming up very close now and uh, it's, it's a beautiful baton as you can see. And we're absolutely delighted to have it on the island for the next few days. And with that, uh, we can see the battle now coming out of the airport. A few more photos taken uh, with the three legs of man. And now it's on its way. It's uh, going on a steam train. It's here for a few days. Lots of people are going to have the chance to see it, maybe even touch it, I don't know. But certainly it brings it all home that the Commonwealth Games are not that far away now. And massive interest in the Isle of Man team who look really on form for bringing back some medals.